person who day and night continuously exerts himself in the Buddha way has already attained Buddhahood and is living a life of unsurpassed happiness. But I'm sure there are some of you here who feel you're not yet living a life of unsurpassed happiness. And nor do you believe that you've attained Buddhahood. And this is the whole problem. The whole problem is that although Nichiren Daishonin said, and without a shadow of doubt, it is true that the moment we chant Nam Myoho Renge and live a life based on it, we are in the state of Buddhahood. Our minds won't let us believe it. That is the whole problem. We are in Buddhahood because we chant Nam Myoho Renge In fact, there is inexhaustible supplies of life force and happiness surging through our lives but our mind imprisons us from this experience we don't believe it so the whole process of the human revolution is opening up our minds to the fact that actually we are in Buddhahood when we do our best as it says continuous and concentrated efforts in terms of Gongyo and Daimoku, Shakabuku, and study every day. We are actually always making the causes for this to flow in our lives. It is faith like flowing water, isn't it? That sustained effort. But our minds don't believe it. That's the trouble. And of course, that is karma. It's karma, our delusions, right? our deluded selves, which causes us to be unable to believe this. So we have to go through a process of opening our minds to the fact that actually Buddhahood exists in us and that we are actually Buddhas. Everyone who chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is bringing out Buddhahood and therefore is a Buddha. But it's impossible for us to believe So sometimes we feel despondent, certainly we don't always feel joyful perhaps, but in fact the ingredients are all there to do so. So once in, in, uh, uh, in Los Angeles, I just happened, I was eavesdropping really, I overheard President Akia, President of the Soho Gakkai, giving guidance to uh, a Japanese young man. And it was standing right on the edge in the, in the training center at Malibu. And he said, it was interpreted to me at the time, he said, you should chant Daimoku until joy rises up in your life. It's only a very short sentence. When I went away, I thought, hang on a moment. That's not happening to me, and I'm not chanting until joy rises up in my life. And I thought, next day, I'm going to start. So at the end of my Daimoku, maybe for five or seven minutes, I chanted, just looking at the Gohans and listening. And incredibly enough, this immense feeling of joy just came from somewhere deep in my life. And I ended this Gongyo absolutely on top of the world. And once more, that carried me through, that feeling. The day was great. So after that, it became my habit. And I'm really thankful to President Akira for that. And from time to time, I pass it on to all the members like I'm passing it on to you now. But actually, this is the joy, the deep, profound joy of Buddhahood which we're feeling. In fact. So all the first years of my practice, I never knew this. My mind couldn't take this in again. But once I opened my life to the gods and just let Nam Myoho flow from me, and let the sound of it come back into my ears and feel its vibration in my voice and look at it with my eyes, that's what happened. Like an incredible great sun bursting in your life. You can all do it. But we tend to end our Daimoku still full of the problems that we're facing. From the very first minute to the last minute 
of uh, one hour or half an hour's time, our oh, it's our problems, 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 problems. <laughs> Endless problems, 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 isn't it? How on earth can we feel joy or experience Buddhahood if we're all the time saying, but this and but that? And this is what my life's like now. So, as I often say, it's no good sitting there in front of the Gonzan unless we at least give Nichiren Daishon in five minutes or so to speak to us. If it's us doing the talking all the time, this is my problem, and on and on and on and on. He doesn't get even one moment to open his mouth. So your voice, the Gosho says, when you chant nam myoho renge is the voice of the Buddha. It's the voice of the Buddha in your life. So if you really listen to it, you will experience this amazing joy. So through the process of doing gongya, we should be opening up our lives, opening up our Buddhahood, so that in due course we can really enjoy it. It's only our kana, our minds, that gets in the way. <laughs>